Hey, how's it going guys? Zach Cox here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be taking a look at a very cool and forgotten location inside of GTA 5 that actually has to do with the gold rush of in California in the 1800s, a mysterious ghost story, as well as a dead gangster murder mystery. So, if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, definitely be sure to leave a like rating down below, and also don't forget to subscribe for some more daily Grand Theft Auto 5 content on my channel. We also upload brand new Forgotten Location videos every single Monday, so be sure to stay tuned for that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the video. So first off, I want to say that unfortunately, this location is only available to users on the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. This was not actually added in until the release of GTA 5 on the current generation consoles in November 2014. So, sorry you guys on the Xbox 360 and the PS3, but I still hope you guys do enjoy the video. Now, once you're at this location, it's going to be very, uh, just a very normal location. It looks just like a mineshaft door, it's boarded up, and there's also just some relics around. Uh, just some mineshaft related stuff, I guess you could say, you know, a pickaxe, a shovel, pile of gravel, buckets, different things like that. And we can see from outside a railroad track, and we can see actually under the door. And what you need to do is you can just take out any sort of explosive device, sticky bombs, grenade launcher, etc. And just shoot the door, and it's actually going to blow up, leading to a tunnel of... Uh, it's just a big circle in a tunnel uh, of a railroad tracks that lead through this mineshaft, and it's a very... Very creepy and mysterious place. We're going to hear creepy noises, just creepy creaks, and we're going to see some creepy actual things in just a moment. But I want to say that actually this location dates back to the last generation version of GTA 5 when the game was first released on the blacklight version of the map. There's actually at this location some writing on this map, and it says under the rock face and that actually leads to this location and this was on the last generation version of GTA 5 and of course we didn't see anything until the newer version or the current generation where we can actually access this location now but once you blow that down the doors go ahead and I would recommend you guys take a flashlight with you but once you're in here like I said before you're gonna hear some very creepy noises but also uh, you're gonna find just when you walk right down through the entrance of this mine shaft A dead gangster's body. He's wearing a pinstripe suit. He's been there since around the 1940s or 50s or 60s, I believe. And this actually correlates with the next generation or the current generation version, excuse me, Murder Mystery and Grand Theft Auto 5. And if you guys don't know much about that, you could check it out for yourselves. I will leave a, li a link to a video in the description for you guys to check out. But a uh, very cool murder mystery takes place in GTA 5, also including one of the locations we've covered in a previous episode before which I will also link down below in the description, but this dead body actually correlates with that. There's also a film reel, and it says Richard's Majestic, which of course, once I, once again, is part of the murder mystery, but uh, once you just leave the dead body, you can just go and explore the tunnel systems here, and it's ultimately just one big circle. It really doesn't lead anywhere else, and there's no other locations inside of this mineshaft. However, just recently, in the last few months, there's actually been some rumors that there is a ghost inside of the mineshaft, which is very, very creepy. And you guys can check that out. Also, uh, basically, it involved a man who, or a user in GTA Online, who was in the mineshaft. And he throws a Molotov cocktail, and all of a sudden, a silhouette catches fire and just takes off running down the tunnel. And it's very creepy. But it's also very interesting to say the least as we really don't know much about this and whether or not there's a ghost inside of this mineshaft uh, in San Andreas. So I want you guys to let me know what you think of this location down below in the comment section. Very eager to read through all those comments and see what you guys have to say as well as leave me some forgotten locations inside of GTA 5 that you'd like to see covered in next week's episode. But I believe that just wraps up, that about wraps up the video. If you guys did enjoy, definitely be sure to leave a like rating down below. Subscribe for some more daily Grand Theft Auto 5 content. And with all that said and out of the way, 
I believe that's just about it. You guys all take it easy, have a safe one, and I will see you all in the next video.